So thank you, Susie, for participating in my interviews. My um, could you tell me how integrative medicine, integrative health, came to your path? Yes, I was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer um, uh, almost three years ago, actually, and. Uh, my first year, you know, I really started looking at what were the toxins in my life and uh, how could I live a healthier lifestyle because something I was doing wasn't working. Uh, so I really went through and I changed my diet. So I looked at all the different types of diet therapies because I really am a believer that food is medicine. Uh, so I tried the Gerson therapy, which is like a lot of juicing and coffee enemas <laughs> and uh, that type of thing. Uh, so I did that, um, and then I, and then I learned after about <clears throat> three months, really how to tune in better to the types of foods I'm eating and even what my stomach is telling me because that diet is a complete vegan diet, and I felt tired. Uh, and then I remember that I was like, I'm going to include one piece of meat at a time and see how it affects my physiology. So then I introduced a fish and I felt so amazing. I felt like I had energy, you know. And then I, I tried chicken and it didn't really do much for me. And then I tried, uh, had red meat and I figured, yes, this is what really I crave and I really need, but not all the time, you know, as I'm going still through cancer therapy, I know that uh, too much meat is not good for me. So I really started researching like um, alternative uh, health and how I could integrate it in my um, treatment. So the Because at this time you were having your uh, yeah, so I had conventional chemotherapy. treatment? I had a chemotherapy and then I went, I had a neoadjuvant, so I had chemo before um, I had uh, the surgery. And the first time I ever really heard that term, you know, that not only do we have a body type, which I knew we had a body type, but really that goes so uh, such great alignment with our minds. And uh, the things that show when we have imbalances, uh, so that it really was a system for me to start monitoring myself and really take responsibility for my own health care. Mm -hmm. you know, because you told me that just before you had done your uh, all your treatment, yes. surgery and chemotherapy, yes. and then for radiotherapy you were not yes. ready for that. So yes, yeah, so ra radiation to the breast was recommended at that time and I had been studying you know really a lot of um, complementary alternative therapy but also doing my own personal work, my inner journey, really releasing emotional toxins that I hadn't really um, explored, you know, things from my childhood, traumas that I had. And I really went back and I learned to get in touch with myself again, which I feel like that is the cause of disease. When you lose your connection to your natural essence, your spirit, really who you are, you know, and, and your connection to mother nature. You know, I was eating a terrible diet, the standard American diet, we call it here, which is, you know, so much meat and carbs and all these things. And, and when I went off of the carbs, you know, um, I feel like I had candida at the time as well. And when I went off the carbs, uh, I just felt like I could think again. I was feeling foggy, like I couldn't think clearly anymore. You could see the mind-body connection there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so powerful. And so I really could start thinking better. And then I was like intuitively was getting in touch w with my intuition. And I felt like, you know, radiation is not the right choice for me. So instead I, I went to the Chopra Center and to experience Panchakarma, just kind of a cleansing of the body to really get rid of all the, you know, past residue of the chemotherapy um, and the surgery, the anesthesia. I still felt it mm -hmm. really in my system. Um, and I'm glad that I did that, you know, and uh, then six months later, uh, I was re-diagnosed. Um, however, I have a, just a feeling that it, I, the cancer was still always present um, because it was found in my lungs um, and then uh, shortly after went to the brain. But <clears throat> the evolution is actually really interesting. So when I was re-diagnosed, you know, I really had this, like, this wanting, like really, um, it was my ego that said, I need to heal this holistically. You know, and I'm not, I don't want to do chemo, I don't want to do anything, uh, the allopathic way, it didn't work because I felt like I did surgery, I did chemotherapy, I did pretty much everything except for the radiation and 
I, it came back and it came back in the same exact spots in the breast so I thought you know intuitively the surgery didn't feel right at first but I felt a lot of fear from the doctors and my parents telling me you know go ahead or my father really not my mom but telling me that I really needed to to go forward with that and then in the end when I recurred the cancer was in the same exact spots in the breast so mm -hmm. I felt like you know what that I don't want anything to do with doctors again you know and so I tried to heal it holistically and about three months later and I did everything ozone therapy hyperthermia vitamin C IVs um, I did a spiritual healing I did so many things you name it that's the cancer therapy alternative I did it and um, I actually raised like $25,000 for these therapies because mm -hmm. I'm a school teacher and I didn't have the money. So I used all the money and I did all those therapies. But three months later, um, when I had a scan, they noted that it went to the brain. And it wasn't in the brain previously. It was in the lungs. And it w they weren't just uh, one or two. It was 22 tumors in my brain. and Or there was. And, uh, you know, it was, I really... I got this awakening, you know, this, you know, just this calling of like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Like, why won't you give yourself the opportunity, the best opportunity to live? And if I want to live, I have to do something drastic and more, uh, like, stronger than the all just alternative at this point in my life. And so I really just accepted uh, that I had to do the brain radiation. Not just accepted, but I was grateful, actually, that there was something that could really um, help help me mm -hmm. with what I had. And there was a chemotherapy, a brand new tar gene targeted chemotherapy that my doctor had recommended, you know, months prior and I was resistant. And then at that point, I really let go. I just, I said, there's nowhere else to go. And I really feel like I need to do both, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I need to do the, the radiation. Um, although I don't feel like it's a solution, like it's not a, a quick, you know, a fix forever, but it really gave me, it's giving me more time to go deeper and do deeper healing with a lot of the alternative um, therapies and, and Ayurveda, which I, I think has just been amazing. You know, I, I think that actually through meditation, more meditation, I was able to accept uh, the uh, allopathic way better and then I really put um, I put a mantra actually with uh, the chemotherapy and I gave it more power and then I I also s decided that I have to believe and I knew that you have to believe in whatever you do and I didn't believe in that first year in that chemotherapy I didn't believe in the surgery I just it just didn't feel right and so now I have decided that any thing that I do for my therapy I have to believe in it mm -hmm. and if I don't really believe in it I'm not going to do it because the power of belief is just so strong mm -hmm. um, and I believe it's so healing as well so yeah it was my meditation that really l allowed me to let go of my ego and wanting and to, to see exactly what you want to live yes right? and then I want to live and if I want to live what do I need to do mm -hmm. you know sometimes you have to do what you have to do to live you know, um, and to make that choice too, that, uh, that I, I do things for my health and to, to live. I don't do things to not have cancer mm -hmm. and to not die. You know, um, I always just focus on my healing, you know, and, uh, I, and uh, miraculously things are going down. You know, my last scans have been so positive. Mm -hmm. uh, it, slowly and slowly, there's less and less. It's reduced about 85, 90% in the body and in the brain. So for me, that's beautiful. And that happened uh, in a short amount of time. Great. When I really, you know, I do a healing meditation, actually, when I get my chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, I put my ear headphones on, and it was developed by a hypnotherapist that knows my journey and my archetypes. And she includes it in the uh, session. And I envision, too, the, you know, chemo being healing light mm -hmm. and love. And I'm grateful for the medicine. You know, very different attitude than when I went mm -hmm. in the first year where I was like, oh, God, it's going to make me sick. It's terrible. Mm. I hate this. You could see the difference between oh, those two yes, periods yes, of your life. Very, very different, mm. you know. Um, and I just, I feel grateful that I was able to make that shift.